Hey everyone, this is Kelly Kahoot and I am back with a quick tutorial on how to make your coffee cup card dies into a shaker. We've had some questions recently um, through customer service and we wanted to make sure that we showed you a couple of ways that you can achieve those cute little shaker cards with the coffee cup die set. So I have all the pieces here from that die set. Um, I'm not going to really work with these a lot today because mainly I want to show you how just to achieve the shaker card look. So I have two of the cards cut out there in white paper. You can see the score line right in the center. And then I also have two of the little frames, one in a craft card stock and one in orange. And then you also need to cut two pieces or a piece for your shaker card of clear plastic. I used that long coffee cup uh, card die and cut two pieces because I'm going to show you two different ways of um, how to do this. Now I cut that card and then just snipped it right in the middle, right where that score line is. So I actually have um, two little pieces of plastic. Now here's a card that I made a, a while back, a long time back. Now I, this is four layers of foam tape. I'm going to show you how to do one layer today, but I had to do four to accommodate those cute little coffee beans. And those are real coffee beans that I just put inside there. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do foam tape and then also how to do a flat card with just some score tape. Super easy. So I'm going to get started here and I've got all my pieces all cut out and ready to go. So first I'm going to show you how to do a flat shaker card. So I'm going to use one eighth inch. It's super thin, narrow, teeny tiny uh, score tape. And I'm just going to go as close as I can get around the edge of that card. Um, and you want to make sure that you don't have any gaps in your adhesive. Or if you have gaps, all your little bits and baubles and beads and anything you're going to stick in there, glitter is going to come out the sides of your cards. And we don't want that. So I've got some really um, good score tape. That stuff will stick to anything and it is very strong and your card is not going to come apart. So that's why I'm using score tape. I'm using my little pen knife there just to remove all the backing from that score tape. It's a double sided tape. Um, now for this flat card, you kind of want to think about it. You want to use kind of a flat, slim embellishment. So whatever you choose, I've got a little sequin mix here. It also has some seed beads inside, but it's pretty flat. Now I'm going to take a piece of that plastic that I cut with that card die and I'm going to put and line it up right over the top of that adhesive. Now this is really flat. I'm going to show you how flat it is here in just a second. But now I can take just some liquid adhesive. I could go back and use that score tape again. Um, I'm going to cover up all the yucky adhesive or the guts as I like to call them that make the inside or uh, the adhesive for your shaker card. I'm going to cover all that up with that little frame and that comes in that die set as well. I'm going to make sure I like liquid adhesive on this part because I can kind of maneuver that little frame before it is attached down um, to make sure it covers everything up. And you can see how cute that is with the little lid and then the little sleeve that goes over the top. And now this is, because it's flat, it will go in the mail in just a regular envelope. It's super thin. You can see I'm holding it up there. It doesn't add a lot of bulk because it's just that score tape. Now I'm going to show you how to kind of pop it up so you get some dimension. Now because um, that little frame is so thin, I'm going to take my foam tape and cut it down to the size that I need. So I just rolled some out, used my scissors, cut it to the width I needed, and then just like I did the score tape, I'm going right as close as I can, right up to the sides because I don't want anything to show. Taking a little bit of anti-static powder and going around just the inside edges, that way none of my sequins and beads stick to the adhesive 
Again, I've added that same little sequin mix just because I had it out on my desk, but you can add many, many layers of foam there. Like if you wanted to put the uh, coffee beans just like I did, you would just have to accommodate whatever you're putting in your shaker. So that's going to tell you how many layers of foam that you need. And again, you don't want any gaps in your foam tape because you want all your little goodies to stay inside of that shaker compartment. Again, I'm just going to use a little bit of liquid adhesive because I like to be able to kind of maneuver and wiggle that around with my fingers to make sure the guts to that shaker card are all nice and covered up. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue down the rest of the pieces to this little coffee cup card so I can show you exactly how it works. And because there's foam tape um, right there below that lid and it was going to be popped up a little bit, I decided to put a little bit to the top there so um, it would stand up nice and neat and when the top wouldn't get flimsy. Okay. And then I had just a little bit of foam tape hanging out there on the corner. I just took my little pen knife and just cut that right away. I don't want that to show when the recipient gets this card. I'm going to put together the little sleeve. And again, I'm pulling out that really thin 1 8 inch score tape. I'm going to use my pen knife again and just peel those edges away or peel the backing away. And then very carefully, you can kind of see my head there to the left. I'm going to get down and make sure I have that all lined up. And then my card slides right inside that. Or, just like my pass card, you could clip it apart and then have it just on the top. The thicker your card is, or the thicker the shaker, you're going to have to clip that down and not use it as a sleeve because the card will not fit inside if you have a really thick shaker. Okay, so here they are. There's a flat one, all nice and flat. There's one that's a little bit puffier with a foam tape and then the one that I made in the past with four layers of foam tape and those cute little coffee beans. So I hope this helps you out and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.